Good morning and welcome to Off The Beaten Pot. My name is Tom and for breakfast we're going to have shakshuka. I'm very excited about making this. I've wanted to make this in a setting such as Dartmoor, camping outside for ages. Um, I also, I love it at home. It's a traditional Israeli slash North African mix of a dish. So let me just talk you through the ingredients. So shakshuka, it translates, the word translates to meaning all mixed up. And basically what it is, it's a poached egg in a tomato sauce. So we've got, I've got this egg holder, which um, I use this a lot and it's bloody brilliant. Uh, in there, obviously two eggs, there are two of us. So we're gonna have one egg each. We've also got each a single serving, this is a 227 gram small single serving tin tomatoes. I've got a shakshuka mix here, which weighs in at next to nothing. In it is a tablespoon of dried onions, a quarter of a tablespoon, a healthy quarter of a tablespoon of garlic, and then half a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and then I've got chili powder flakes as well. Um, we've got that egg, salt, pepper, parsley, and coriander all in this little mix. So obviously that they're all just basically going to add a lot of flavour to the tomato sauce. Right, so I've waffled, I've told you the information, now we're going to get into the recipe. Oh bloody hell, I missed the feta, didn't I? The first thing to do with this recipe is grab a pot, this is a one pot wonder again, and open the tin of tomatoes. So, easy open sake and then we're going to pour the tomatoes into the pot next put this pot of tomatoes on the flame and straight away no messing so we can get all the flavor in we are going to open our shakshuka packet and on the packet I have written add feta just as a reminder because I'm excellent at just forgetting stuff oh bloody hell I missed the feta didn't I Then we're just going to stir all of that dry ingredients into the mix. Keep stirring in, stirring in, stirring in. And we want ultimately the sauce to be quite thick, but for now we're going to heat it through, which is going to allow all of those dry ingredients to soften up and get the sauce a little thicker as well. We go, we've got our water on standby in case we need, add, need to add a little bit of water, which we should do along the way. And then when it's hot, we're going to add our egg and poach it in there and this is where it's going to become shakshuka the meal that i'm very excited about it's important to say as well obviously i didn't choose my sveya stove to cook this um, i think when i was a chef one thing i realized um, I, it was i was quite daunted about becoming a chef and being a chef because you could poach things bake things fry things every, you know there's different ways of heating things up and ultimately cooking generally is heating things up all you need is a heat source in this case we've got a surveyor but i could do this on a tranja i can do this on uh, an msr pocket rocket i could do it on a jet boil um, so long as, i could do it on a campfire so long as there's fire um, and the ingredients all you're really doing i like you know i'm talking it through because my channel is about food so i'm trying to add information but I hope you don't think that this is stuff that you have to follow step by step. It's ideal if you do, but break this, let's break this recipe down. Like most of my recipes I'm trying to uh, bring to you on this channel, it's you've got, in this case, a tin of something, and that could e just as easily be dehydrated um, tomatoes, um, dehydrated tomato powder that you rehydrate with water. Um, which would save on your weight as well, but in this case we've got a tin, so I wanted to use a tin. Uh, we've got dried onions, we've got dried garlic. Again, that can be fresh, that can be powdered, it can be omitted, it doesn't matter. Everything you put in is gonna be a few more calories. And then all we're doing is heating it up. And then when it's hot, what we're gonna do is drop our egg in, in a very specific way, we'll get into that later. And then, we're eating it. And the thing is, if you drop your egg in and it's not going to plan on poaching, you just break your egg up, mix it into it, 
that egg will cook and be safe to eat and you still get the calories of the egg. It just won't be as fancy as I'm trying to make out to be. So ultimately, with everything you do outside, if it's fear of knowing what you're doing that's getting you cooking, all you've got to do is heat the f out of food until it's safe. If it's nice, that's a bonus. If it's edible, that's great, so long as it's safe. And in this, uh, this recipe, the main thing we've got going on here is the egg and we've just got to make sure that's cooked and if you're unsure you don't have to poach the egg in this you can just break the egg into it and whisk it around and that will be fine so we're just going to keep an eye on this uh, put the lid on now let it stir it from time to time let it thicken um, let those uh, dry ingredients soften and let the herbs and spices really infuse the sauce for flavor and we'll come back after a little bit of b-roll Okay, so Dad's had his morning wander and he's now cooking. So you've met him before. Here he is again, Dad. Howdy hi. Ho -de ho. Mm -hmm. um, and what's happening now? My food is steaming nicely, starting to bubble. So I'm just, this is the point where to regulate the heat, um, if you can't regulate the heat of your stove, just lift your pot for a little while just to get rid of some of that heat. Um, but it's not too bad. So this sauce is just thickening. I can feel the uh, other ingredients getting softer. Again, all we're doing is cooking and heating, and you probably this is probably going to be up to up to a boil in less than five minutes on most stoves. When it's bubbling, really bubbling, we're going to give it a stir, and then we're going to start to s slow things down. But I've taken the lid off because I want it to thicken a little bit more. So again, if you do get now, if you do put too much water in, I've not put any in yet, and it gets too thin, one method you can do, you can drain out the water if you've gone too far on certain ingredients, but in this instance, we're just gonna leave the lid off to let that moisture evaporate out. But we don't want to let too much out because that moisture is gonna be key to cooking the egg. So this recipe, if you were to do it at home, uh, you'd make the sauce in a, in a pot or an oven-proof uh, pan and you'd make it with fresh ingredients. You can make it with fresh ingredients out here. It's up to you and what you want to carry. But you'd also, you'd finish it off. You'd poach these, you'd bake the eggs in the oven. In lieu of an oven, we're gonna actually, actually poach the eggs by using the steam from the juice. So I've given it another stir, put my lid on, and it's getting really boiling now. So I'm just gonna leave it a couple of more seconds. Just want it bubbling. And the only reason I opened it to stir it was to make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. If you've got a titanium pan, they have hot spots, you're probably more prone to having to stir it so it doesn't cake into the pan. Right, so going back to what I was talking about earlier, um, your food, your rules. I'm just showing you, I'm guiding you here on what I would do to make shakshuka. What Dad has chosen to do, he wants to fry his egg. That's his preference and that's entirely cool. So Dad's going to crack his egg into his little pan from this Primus pot which is quite incredible and I'm jealous. Not beaten enough, but we'll get there. Um, he's gonna fry his egg, which means all he needs to really do is cook that through until it's cooked. And that's a quick method really, isn't it? And if he wanted to put the lid on, he could crack his egg into that pan and then put it on as a lid and then some of the heat will start to come through and he'll start to start cooking his egg earlier and keep a bit more juice content in that pot. So, while Dad fries his egg, he'll be eating quicker than I will, I'm gonna poach mine. So, what we do now for that is we take it off the heat, now it's bubbling. We're gonna make a little well in the center and then using an egg, funnily enough, and crack that in. And now you can see that there is an egg sitting in a goo full of tomato sauce. So, back on with the heat. And we're going to start cooking that egg. If you feel it's not working or you can't be bothered to wait, just break the egg, stir it into part of the sauce, and just cook it again until it's boiling, and then you'll be good to go. And I guess that's sort of like a more dirt bag recipe. Um, if you're halfway up a cliff face and you want to want to cook something relatively, if you wonder what Dad's doing, he's crushing the cans to go in the bin he's, uh, um, rather than doing a jig. Or maybe I'm just assuming. So that's bubbling away now, that's lovely. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit more 
when it's boiling, I'm going to put the lid on, turn the heat off, and I'm going to wait two minutes. So just bringing that back up to the boil, lid on, heat off, two minutes. So that's cooling down a little bit too much. The brews are going to have to wait, and I'm just going to regulate the heat by lifting it. Again, if you don't have this patience, just break the egg up. It's equally valid. You're still getting everything you need, or indeed, uh, do what that does and fry the egg. Today I've got the time. I can imagine if you just want to wake up early, get fueled and go, this might not be the breakfast for you. Um, but I've got a lovely trekking porridge, which is literally just add water, which is highly calorific, slow burn energy for a whole day, get you right through to a late lunch. Scooby doo, baba doo, flabba doo, doodaloo, flim flam. We've still got a bit of a ways to go. I'm going to show this to you. And what I'm getting a bit impatient and hungry, but I want to show you, you know, it's a truthful thing. So that's, that's nice. It's most of it's cooked, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stir it in, really break it up, which means we still get the egg. And as it's all broken up, it's going to cook quicker. Because it's going to probably, it'll be cooking from the heat of the sauce in there. Changes the look of it all quite a lot. Um, if you were to leave the old method of getting it boiling in the little well, you'd have a lovely little poached egg in the middle. But we're going for the dirt bag method, chunking it up, and we've got everything we need here. And I'm just going to give it a quick fire on the stove, get some heat in, take it off, let it cool, and then munch away. To finish mine, what I'm going to do is add a glug of olive oil, and I love it, so Tabasco sauce. And then, what's nice about this one, more protein. Feta is incredibly good for you as far as cheese goes. For this, I'm using a lot more of this later. I want to preserve the packet, so like, this is lunch. You're just gonna cut about this much off and push the bits in, break it down a little bit. That's gonna have the same, and that's gonna leave us with just over half of um, a block of feta later that's gonna do two meals. And that, is my dirt bag shakshuka. And this is gonna be a really flavorsome meal that uh, is going to power us through the morning. We've got lovely proteins from the egg and the cheese. We've got lovely flavors from all of those spices and herbs. And we've got a big dose of vitamin C from the tomatoes. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you'd add or what you wouldn't do in the comments below. Please give it a like if you found any value from this video. Subscribe so you can get in on the act for more videos. And I'll see you in another episode of Off The Beaten Pot. Cheers and gone.